There are a number of ways that you can pass data from one activity to another activity. Uh, you could use shared preferences, you could use intents, or if you have a ton of data, probably the best way is to store the data in a database and then grab it from the database in the new activity. But if you have a small amount of data, the best way to do it is to use intents. You've probably watched my video on switching screens from one activity to another. So it's very, it's going to be very similar to that, but you attach some data to the intent when you switch to the new activity. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. Um, this is just the list view tutorial that I posted the, yesterday, the on-click listener uh, list view tutorial, where I just have a list view with some names, and when you click on the list view, it will display the name that you clicked on. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to create a second activity, and when we click on one of the names, the app will navigate to the second activity and it will display the name that we clicked on in a text view. So to get started we'll create a second layout. I'm just going to call it second screen. And in second screen the only thing that there's going to be is just a text view. Well, Let's change it to a relative layout. And go to the design tab and just throw a text view right in the middle. And let's uh, get rid of the text. And let's change the text size. We'll just do, I don't know, Let's make it really big, we'll do 30 SP, and the width will be match parent, and that's all we're gonna do. Oh, I'll change this. I'll say edit text, incoming data. And that's it, we'll close second screen. And now that we have our second screen layout, let's create a second activity. So create a new Java class, we'll call it second screen. Extend app compact activity, and let's grab on create from main activity. So just copy on create and let's paste it down below. Make sure to close that off. And we need a tag. So just type log T for the tag. And there is our second screen. Let's get rid of the list view and we'll create a text view instead. We'll just say incoming data equals text view, find view by ID, r.id dot incoming data. And we need to change our layout to the second screen. And that should be good. Now let's go back to, that's good for now actually. Let's, let's go to the manifest and let's add the second activity to the manifest. So go activity, second screen, close the tag. That's all we need to do and close the manifest. Now let's go to main activity and we need to create an intent and navigate to that second screen using the intent. So we already have a onclick listener for the list view. So we don't need like a button or anything. We just would create an intent and do new intent. Whoops, oh, what was that? And do main activity dot this and then do second screen dot class. So we're coming from main activity and we're going to second screen. And then we're gonna go start activity and pass the intent. And that will actually navigate us to the other screen. But now we need a way to attach the data to the intent so that the second screen knows, the second screen has some, some data to read from the list view. Because right, currently the second screen activity has no knowledge of this list view or any of these names. So we need to attach data to the intent so that the second screen activity can read that data. So we go back to main activity and we can attach what's called an extra. So we can go intent dot put extra. And here, this is just gonna be a key value pair. So the first parameter is gonna be the key. I'm just gonna say name. And the second parameter is going to be what the actual value is. So in this case, we're just gonna print names dot get the item that we clicked on. And that's it. So uh, put extra is kind of similar to shared preferences in a sense. It's, it's not because it's not like saving it to a file that you can reference from anywhere, but it's saving it as a, a key value pair. And that's pretty much the same thing as what shared preferences does. There's a key and then there's a value attached to that key. So now that we have started the activity and we have an extra attached, we can actually retrieve that data in second screen, in the second screen activity. So let's go down into on create and we're gonna get the intent. So we need to create an intent we're gonna call it incoming intent. And I think you just call the method get intent. And that this is gonna intercept any intents that are coming uh, to the activity. So now that we have the intent, we can get the string from the intent. So we'll go string incoming name, 
and we'll call the intent. So, oops, incoming intent dot get string extra. There we go. But we could also get different types of extras depending on depending on what was coming in. Like we get integer extra, integer array extra, string array extra. Just depends on what you attach to that intent. So in our case, we're just getting a string extra, and this is where we pass the key. So if you remember, you go back to main activity, and the key was name. So we reference that key here, name, and that will get our name. So now we just set the name to the text view. So we can go incoming data dot set text, and we'll set it to incoming name. And if we want to get really fancy, we could throw some logs in here. So we can type log d and do uh, found incoming name and just print out incoming name and that will print it to the log so that should be good let's uh, run the app and see if we get any errors all right so we have our list view and here's all of our names let's click on one at random so I'll click on Jess and you can see it navigates to the second screen it also printed out that toast that we had before so it prints out that toast that's for main activity it's just printing out this toast right here and then we navigate to the second screen and it displays the name that we clicked on. So there we go. So once again, this, this is going to be the best way to pass data between activities if you're just passing like a small amount of data. If you're using any large amount of data, you're probably going to want to create a database and sort it in the database and then grab it from the database um, in the new activity. But for just small amounts of data like this, like when you click on a list view and you want to get the contents of the list view, maybe display it in a second screen or use it for something in a second screen. This is gonna be the best way to do it. And in other news, I just wanted to uh, say thanks to all you guys. Yesterday I hit 1,000 subscribers. I just wanna say thank you all you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I really like making videos, I really like teaching and I'm gonna keep on producing. I'm gonna finish up this beginner series and probably eventually do a more advanced series but I still got a lot of ideas left for the beginner series it's probably at least 20 more videos or so if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like below if you haven't subscribed yet click that subscribe button and thanks for watching